What is going on guys? Dayton here, aka Dr. R Flower. We are back with a little bit of a different video today out in the uh, park here. It's a really nice day and I finally got some good sleep and able to stay up today. So I thought better get out here and make another video. If you want to help the channel, make sure you smash that like button, uh, subscribe if you're new here and uh, hit that uh, bell notification if you want to get notified when my new videos go up. And today I kind of want to talk about uh, smoking and health effects and stuff. Uh, I did have a health scare a little while ago uh, during last year and I did go to the emergency room. So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, it does involve smoking, I think, um, because uh, it's something that really freaked me out. And it was kind of really, and it was kind of one of the reasons why uh, we didn't take off to Thailand. Uh, I really wanted to get that figured out because I was getting chest pains, and uh, my family does have a history of uh, heart conditions or heart attacks. My grandpa died from a heart attack, so it was something that really freaked me out. And I did end up in the emergency room. So let's get right into it. Uh, about like a year, a little over a year ago, I was getting chest pains. And I didn't know if it was from smoking or if it was from, uh, you know, something else. I kind of figured it was from smoking. So that is why I switched to vaping. But I think that kind of made it worse. I don't know if it came from the vaping or whatnot or, or if it uh, was just from the smoking or whatever was in the weed I was smoking. I don't know. But it was giving me chest pains and even... Even when I stopped, I was still getting them. So I was getting a little worried. Um, so yeah, it was around last year, near the fall, that I was like, oh, I better go get this checked out. And uh, started asking around, went and did some blood work and stuff like that. And uh, things seemed a little bit high, like nothing to be freaked out about. So I started checking my blood pressure and stuff to make sure if it's like a heart thing and I was getting some really high blood pressures and I was a bit overweight. I was up into the 190s, which I've never been that big before. So definitely gained some pounds. And I saw the doctor and the doctor said, you pretty much need to stop smoking and you need to lose weight um, and see if that helps. Because uh, <laughs> the chest pains was like really like all day long and something that you really should not be avoiding and, uh, you know, I was avoiding it for a while because I thought, oh, it's just from smoking. Oh, my body doesn't like this. Who knows? Who knows what it was from? But uh, the worst point was when I was uh, getting a new job, uh, I had to change my sleep schedule and it really messed me up. And I didn't have sleep for like a week. And my blood pressure was just off the charts, really high in the 160s. I talked to the doctor and he said, if it gets high like that, you got to go to the emergency room. So I was just like one day, it was the coldest day of the year and I was kind of freaking out because I could not sleep and I was having major chest pains. And uh, yeah, I just bit the bullet. I said, okay, I'm going to the emergency room. I'm going to get this checked out. I don't want to have issues or whatever. So I went there, they checked it all. They said, my heart's okay. And they pretty much said, and they pretty much said, all I can do is one, quit smoking and two, lose weight and eat have a healthier lifestyle so I really took that to heart and I did quit smoking for about two to three months and I switched over to oils uh, tinctures and stuff and capsules and I was doing that for uh, yeah two three months so I don't know if it was psychological or something or who knows what maybe it's the mushrooms telling me I needed to slow down on smoking or something who knows because uh Mushrooms can do that sometimes. <laughs> I feel like uh, mushrooms kind of do it subconsciously where they know something you're doing is uh, not healthy, not good for you. Like like what happened with when I was doing uh, nicotine, uh, vapes and uh, snuff, uh, nasal tobacco. The mushrooms, I was doing mushrooms one time and I was really getting pains in my veins and I like came to the conclusion, oh, I'm getting like high blood pressure from this. This isn't good. And I was like, oh, this is like a message from the mushrooms. And I do think that like they're like a, <laughs> a has, it's like an organism with intelligence 
that is unlocked once you take it kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, oh, here's a nice little trail. What the hell is a camp in there? <laughs> Maybe I don't want to go in there. <laughs> There's homeless all over this place these days. The last three years, homelessness has exploded in this area and you barely ever see it before. This is a small town, BC, Canada. So like it's, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> so back to the story here. I had to switch up my arm. My, <laughs> my arm's getting sore walking around doing vlogging. But uh, yeah, after that scare, it, it was almost like the, the subconscious thing, like uh, took it away. Like after I had that emergency room and the doctor said my heart's okay, I almost like immediately started feeling better the next day. Uh, almost started like, you know, I, that's why I think it was kind of subconscious too. And after I saw another doctor, I finally got a family doctor here. And uh, they said, like, you can get chest pains. Uh, younger people can get just uh, in their um, chest wall here. It can inflame, I guess. Who knows? But uh, I don't know. I, I quit smoking for a while and it seemed to really help. Um, like right now, I would say I smoke about half as much as I used to or not even half. That's also another reason why I kind of quit growing for a while there. Uh, I wanted to just change up my supply and uh, and I was buying from the uh, legal dispensaries here because everything's tested and stuff. And I just wanted to be sure that my stuff didn't have like molds or mildews or something that was messing me up and giving chest pains. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've been switched over and the update now is I pretty much barely have chest pains. So it's really decreased. I've lost about 24 pounds. So that's really nice. That's the really nice thing about this job. It pays good and it's pretty much like I'm getting paid to work out. So I've definitely built a lot more muscle, lost a lot of fat, 24 pounds in about four or five months now. And yeah, things are feeling a lot more healthy these days. Um, slowly got back into smoking joints there and uh, just taking it easy. Um, yeah, I don't go too hard these days. I really try to uh, keep a minimum. You, on the weekends, I smoke a bit more. During work days, I smoke maybe only three joints a day, kind of three, maybe four compared to before when I was growing my own, I was rolling like 10 joints a day sometimes. So yeah, that definitely can take a, a toll on your body. And I think it is good sometimes to just take a break. And with the like legalities here, it's so nice to just, okay, I want to take a break from smoking. You can easily switch over to edibles and, and you still get your medical effects. I, I take CBD and all that stuff and it really helps with my muscles and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it is nice to take a break from smoking and give your body a break sometimes. Now that I'm feeling a lot more healthy these days, I'm feeling more confident to get out of this country, moving and uh, starting something new. So definitely stay tuned for more to come on that. Uh, we are preparing here. Uh, my work's kind of slowing down. I'm gonna be ending possibly in the next month. And then I'm gonna have a lot more time to vlog and uh, make videos and stuff and go on some adventures. I'm gonna take you guys on some adventures on this channel here, some, some kind of 420 style adventures. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that, guys. And uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, put it down below. If you ever had a health scare like this, let me know. Uh, what did you do? Did you quit smoking? Um, yeah, let me know. But I think that's it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, peace out, and we'll catch you guys later.